we're doing example three out of section 7.6, the normal distribution extended numeric example. We're looking at women's shoe sizes. So once again, the size of women's feet follows a bell curve that I have the formula for the bell curve. If I convert to Z scores, I get a nicer looking formula that has an area of one. All of the problems in this section are using basically the same idea. For example three, I'm looking at shoe sizes. My business is going to do a thousand pairs of shoes. I want to know how many should be of size seven. And so I'm going to want to be integrating between 6.5 and seven with a total population of a thousand. So I set up my problem. Again, it looks very similar to what I've seen. I have ends going from zero to 200. I have my midpoints in terms of standard distribution. F of those values, that's the height. The area is going to be height times width. The total area is added up. I've got my integral set up in terms of shoe size. There's a population of 1,000, 200 subintervals. I'm going from 6.5 to 7. I also convert that to saying I'd like to do z-score because that's the formula I'm using is in z-score. My mean is 8. My standard deviation is 1. I subtract off the mean and divide by the standard deviation to get a z-score. My delta x is in terms of size. I also can put my delta x in terms of z-scores. I will find up, wind up with an area that's the percentage of the population. That's what I'll get for my summed area, and I want to convert back to population because if I've been asked for the question in terms of how many pairs of shoes, I want my answer to be that many pairs of shoes. I unshow the formulas. Everything is set up. I'm going from minus one standard deviation up to minus a third of a standard deviation. That gives me where my z-scores are. I find out that my area is 0.21 or 21 percent. That means if I'm going to sell a thousand pairs of shoes under this distribution, 210 of them should be size 7. Because someone who comes in a little big or a little small still goes into size 7. Thank you.